Hello and welcome to a brand new video. It's been absolutely ages since I've produced a video and that's mainly because of this whole coronavirus thing. As well as that, I've been retraining as an electrician. I'm a long way off be from becoming fully qualified, of course, but that's been taking up most of my time. As well as that, I've got kids. It's very difficult to get much work done when they're running around here. Anyway, this video is going to be a review video of the Vankyo projector. This is a full native 720p projector. It's very compact. My first impressions, it seems pretty decent, especially for the money, you could certainly buy much worse than this. As well as that, if you're not interested in this sort of review and you want to see more about you know TV boxes and their developments that go with them, then stay tuned. We've got a couple of videos coming up over the next couple of weeks to do with updates and certain developments I've come across over the last couple of months. Anyway, let's crack on with this review. So I've just been unboxing the projector while I've been yapping on about myself. Now this is really well put together, it comes in a nice box, it comes in a really nice carry case, perfect for the travelling businessman or woman, because this is, would be really ideal for making presentations. And as you'll see later on in the video, it can do it. It can, you know, produce a pretty decent text for even a small text, you know, it's good enough or just about good enough to do those sort of things. Now this also comes with all the different gubbins that you'd want, power supply, HDMI cable, as well as that it comes with the IR remote, and yeah, so all the different things that you'd want with it as well. And the projector itself, it has HDMI input, has a VGA input, quite impressed to see that, has an SD card slot as well. As well as that, it's really nice and compact, and it's not too heavy either, and it has all the different ventilation ports that you'd want. And on the top as well, finally, you've got the lens adjustment and the tilt adjustment as well. So I'm just going to start the projector up now and just play back some footage and let you guys be the judge on whether it's any good or not. Now I'm just going to play back some gameplay on the PlayStation, the Xbox, as well as some video footage. And as well as that, I'm going to maybe display some text on the screen as well especially if you want to maybe use this projector as some sort of presentation device for a meeting of some sort. So before we get started, I just want to mention one of the main features that this projector has and its ability to cast from your Android phone or iPhone to the projector itself. So I've had some experience with this ability on other projectors and it's not half bad. It does what it says on the tin and it seems to work uh, pretty, pretty well with most mobile phones that are compatible with it. I know on Android, you will need the compatibility of this. Um, it's normally in your settings, and if it's not there, it won't work, unfortunately. On iPhone, I'm not entirely sure whether it can go back to the iPhone 5 or 4 or whatever. It might just be compatible with the latest versions. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not an iPhone guy, so I don't really know. But as far as I'm aware, it does a pretty decent job of casting from your mobile um, to the projector itself. So let's play this footage now. And uh, let's start with some gameplay.
So the final point I want to show of this projector is its capability of projecting in a lit room. So as long as the windows that are going to be open are away from the projector, so it doesn't have direct light shining where the screen is going to be, it will cope just fine for the most part. You might want to close the curtains if you want to get the full experience from this projector, but for the most part, it will somewhat cope with some light. But just bear in mind is that you will need it to be a little bit dark. So what do you reckon to the projector? Do let me know in the comment section below. Personally, for the money, I think it's pretty half decent to be fair. You can get second-hand projectors that are maybe five, ten years old that will beat this projector hands down. But for a brand new projector, yeah, it's not half bad to be fair. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this review and we shall see you next time.